So Ben Davidson does an interview on IFL TV. The interview is about a little bit over an hour long, and it was very, um, it was very insightful. It was very interesting to finally hear Ben Davis um, speak his mind and touch on subjects that I've been hearing about in media. And um, there was a few things that he said that I found interesting. And um, he goes on to talk about how he doesn't care what Freddie Roach says about his training, as long as the people that work with him believe in believe in him and he believes in them, everything is fine. You know, so he quickly demissed Freddie Roach and his thoughts of him. But what was really interesting is the stuff that he had to say about Deontay Wilder. One of the things he said about Deontay Wilder is he didn't know. Well, he said that he overestimated Deontay Wilder's mental stability. <coughs> he, he goes on to say that a lot of during the fight buildup, he could tell that Wilder was mentally cracking and Tyson Fury was getting to him and that he was trying to build up fake confidence, you know, and that um, by trying to build up that fake confidence and not being honest with yourself, he said that Deontay Wilder is not going to improve as far as his boxing skill wise until he learns to be honest with himself. And I have to totally agree with him on that. Ben Davidson is totally right. Deontay Wilder will not get better until he gets honest with himself about where, what, where he's at. Because unless you're honest with yourself, you're not going to make the improvements that you need to make. This is why Wilder has made no advancements thus far. On top of him really not caring for the sport and just really not having a love for it. It's just a means for, um, it's just a mean to make some, 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 some cash to him. You know what I'm saying? Nothing in that, nothing more, you know? And he also goes on to say that they were being in total denial because after the fight, they go on to say that we seen the best Tyson Fury, but we didn't see the best Deontay Wilder. And he goes on to say that how that's not true at all, you know? And I have to agree with him on that because I don't see how you seen the best Tyson Fury, but you didn't see the best Deontay Wilder, but... Deontay Wilder is the one who's been active this entire time, and Tyson Fury hasn't. Tyson Fury was not back to 100% when he fought Deontay Wilder, and everybody knows that. So how is he not? So so how, how did we see the best Tyson Fury, but not the best Deontay Wilder? Logically, that makes no sense. It's actually ass backwards. You know what I'm saying? We seen the best Deontay Wilder and a Fury... Um, and Deontay Wilder going life and death with a Tyson Fury that wasn't fully back yet. You know what I'm saying? His skill levels have not peaked yet when he stepped in the ring with him. He beat Deontay Wilder on 60%. You know? And I just thought it was uh, interesting what he had to say. And, you know, he came across very articulate and a very humble guy. And most importantly about this interview, he goes on to say that how they are the one calling the shots. You know, and he said that they will entertain the idea of fighting a Dylan White, you know, what I'm saying between them, but they're not looking for no Deontay Wilder rematch. And this just goes back to what I said about how Tyson Fury was smart, he would not rematch, and how basically he's holding all the keys right now. I know a lot of people didn't understand what I'm saying. They're like, how is Tyson Fury holding the keys right now? And I already broke it down that. What Deontay Wilder went to go fight Tyson Fury for, he didn't gain none of that. Tyson Fury walked away with the house, you know? He walked around with a profile boost, um, American fan base, respect, and believe it or not, he walked away with the WBC belt. Just not literally. Figuratively, yes, but just not literally. But everybody knows that he won that fight, you know? And everybody knows that he won that fight operating on 60%, which is even more impressive. So at this point, for... Tyson Fury to maximize his payday, you know, to make things very lucrative for him. He's smart not to fight Deontay Wilder at all and just wait to fight the winner, which leads back to Deontay Wilder. And the whole phrase where I say is nowhere to run. There's nothing that you can do right now. You know, you better fight Anthony Joshua or you're going to lose your belt to a Dominic Brazil, a Dylan White, or even worse, an even lesser opponent, which will be even more embarrassing than that. You know, but I'm going to leave the link in the description box for you guys to see it and uh, leave 
thoughts in the comments section and tell me what you think about the interview. Bruce Van, I'm out.